All right, what you guys see in front of the camera is another custom 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, this rifle is from Long Rifles, Inc. out of Sturgis, South Dakota. If you guys haven't heard of these guys, uh, they're some of the top rifle builders in the nation. Um, and we sent our actions up to get those rifles built and we got some pretty sweet rigs when we opened up the package. I was extremely pleased with, with, with what we got. Uh, but anyways, the reason I'm showing you guys this video is because so many people have been asking me to post up a video about this rifle. You see the pictures, you see me shooting it on Instagram, you see the hunts. Uh, but I haven't really got into detail about what the rifle is all about. So I'll break that down real quick for you guys and try not to drag this video out too long. So again, it's an 18 inch 6.5 Creedmoor with a hardy carbon barrel. Uh, it has a surefire muzzle brake on there. We have a Badger EFR rail up here on the front. We have Picatinny on the side and Picatinny up top. Uh, for the folks that don't know what this is, we use it for our night vision devices. Usually this rifle has a razor on it and PVS-30 up front with the PEC-15 on the side. Um, the stock is a Manners Elite Tactical. Uh, this is the PRS-2 mini chassis. Uh, it has a little bit of carbon fiber wrapped up in here, matches the barrel. Just sick. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. This thing is extremely comfortable lightweight i absolutely love it if you're interested into a uh in, interested in getting a badger efr i suggest you take it to a professional gunsmith or somebody that knows how to install it this isn't something that you can just buy and drill into your stock because if you try to attempt to, to, to attempt to do that yourself you're going to lose some money you're, you're going to ruin this stock so i, I suggest getting it done properly uh, anyways but this, the stock is extremely comfortable again i love it uh, we have Badger bottom metal here. We have a Badger uh, Picatinny rail on the front for the bipod. Uh, we have a Trigger Tech trigger in here. This is their special uh, PVD black. It's set at one pound straight. Why did I go straight? Uh, you know, if you see me running my ARs, you see the CMC flat triggers. I, I got hooked on flat triggers years ago. And whenever I run the bolt guns with a curved trigger, it's just kind of uncomfortable. Uh, it, it just feels like I'm pulling back a little too far. I want that trigger to be right there, and that's the reason why I pick flat, and the trigger is there. Every time I put my finger in this trigger guard, my finger's on that trigger. Let's talk about the bolt. This is a Remington bolt, and Chad did a little something special with it. I'm not going to say special. Uh, it's nothing new, uh, but new to me. And it has, a, it has an M16 extractor with dual ejectors. If you've seen the videos on Instagram or the videos that I posted up on YouTube, you will see this rifle spits out shells like an AR. I mean, it just spits them out. The guys that reload are cringing right now. They don't like that. <laughs> but if you night hunt like I do, you will understand that I need this rifle to operate as smooth as possible. And I, in, in the past, and even with my other 6.5 Creedmoor, I have rounds that won't eject properly. They will spin inside the chamber or I'll have issues feeding. This rifle doesn't have those issues whatsoever. It runs 100% all the time. I absolutely love this bolt. This bolt is the way to go. If you ever build a custom bolt gun, at least run one, one custom ejector, uh, uh, M16 extractor and one ejector. If, you wanna, if you're not worried about your brass, run the dual. And the reason I say that, if you're shooting on rocks or any type of hard surfaces, you would spit that shell out and you would damage the brass, okay? So it's, it's kind of hard on it. Uh, but absolutely love that bolt. Has a badger knob here. I didn't get the bolt fluted on this one, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. I just like the smooth look here. Uh, we have a LaRue Tactical Zero MOA base. Why did I go zero, not 20? Uh, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that think they have to have 20 MOA, and you don't. I've seen guys go past 1,000 yards without a, without a 20 MOA base as long as your scope has adjustments in it. There's enough adjustment inside your scope. The Razor has plenty of adjustment to run a zero MOA base, and that's usually what I run on this rifle, but right now we have the Thermion. And this, by the way, I don't know if I said this, but this is the same rifle that I used in the previous hog hunt on my YouTube video. This was the rifle with the Thermion. Uh, but, you know, I think that's pretty much it. Got some Vortex rings here. Uh, the stock. What's really cool about it is I do have QD mounts back here for my sling. And they just snap right in. I have one in the rear and I have one up front. 
and that's another cool thing about this stock I mean it's just extremely comfortable to you know lug around and the options on it the features I mean the the feel everything is extremely nice the palm swell is extremely huge back here I have big hands so it doesn't feel like I'm holding a pencil in my hand it feels really good uh, we got LRI all over this thing LRI on the barrel on the uh, on, on the barrel lug here uh, it's just one sweet rifle man I absolutely love this thing and if I was to go back and do one thing different, I will be honest with you guys, I would go with 308. I was on the 6.5 craze for a little bit. This rifle uh, took about a year to get built. And around that time, I was real hot on the 6.5s. And, you know, for what I'm doing at nighttime, and I will be honest with you guys, uh, very, very few shots are taken past 300 yards at night. Uh, with the PVS 30, we've got a little project right now that I'm trying to go for at 530. But 6.5, we all know, has that potential of going further than that. And for me doing this night hunting, I just felt like 308 would be a, a, a better suited round for what I'm doing. But like I said at that time, I was real hot on the 6.5s and I jumped on it. And I wish I went 308 with a 16-inch barrel. But it is what it is. I'm extremely happy with the way it's running right now. So it's just fine. But my next one will be a 16 inch 308 maybe shorter <laughs> maybe shorter but so far I'm loving it it's a great rifle looks good performs good uh, I think we'll be able to get some better long range results with it uh, with some custom loads right now I love shooting factory ammunition just because it's just easy for me to to get you know I don't have time to reload uh, but this rifle does love the 147 ELDs from Hornady and I think once we cook up a good recipe for this rifle, uh, we'll be able to go to distance with it. But right now, uh, with the 147s at 1,000 yards, it's a little inconsistent. Uh, I am able to hit some targets, but again, it's inconsistent. It's not like my 24. That 24, I got a lot of speed there with the barrel, but with the 18, I just don't have enough. So uh, the groups are a little inconsistent. But This is the Long Rifles Inc. 6.5 Creedmoor. If you guys like what you see, Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will try to get some videos up and going here real quick for you guys. I appreciate all the support.